Hey guys, welcome to chapter 11 of the Skyward Sword walkthrough. In this particular chapter, we are going to be doing a lot of side quests, first and foremost. Uh, but in terms of the main quest, we are going to be progressing uh, to the Laneru region to take on the second trial gate. However, before we can even go there, we are going to need to learn the next song for our goddess harp. So, our first destination is over at the Isle of Songs. Throughout this video, this, this entire chapter really, I'm going to be doing a lot of this fast forwarding, uh, especially during the flying scenes and uh, some of the side quests as well. Uh, in particular in some of the side quests I'm going to skip ahead a little bit just because there's a lot of backtracking, a lot of flying, uh, and this chapter was incredibly long when I recorded it, so I want to cut it just a little bit. Anyway, fly on over to the Isle of Songs, and uh, just like before, go ahead and deliver a Skyward Strike to the emblem, and uh, this will trigger a cutscene. Now that we know Nehru's wisdom, our next destination is over at the Laneru Desert. Uh, just like before, you can use your dowsing ability and it'll lead you towards the Laneru Desert, but uh, that is our next destination. It's worth noting that there are a couple things we can do in the overworld in the sky uh, in terms of side quests, a few things at Skyloft. Uh, however, I'm not going to be doing those just yet. Uh, we are going to start the Laneru region as soon as we get a new item in the Laneru region. Uh, then I'm going to be taking on some of the side quests. Uh, much for the reason as once we get a certain item in the Laneru region in this video, we are going to, it opens up a lot of new things to do in the overworld. So uh, I sort of wanted to bunch those together. But in general, like side quests and main quest things are sort of flipped around a little bit in, in this particular chapter. And I'll give you guys a heads up when I'm doing things that are not required of you. 
Anyway, once you arrive here at the Lanayru region, uh, you want to just go to the area just outside the entrance to the Lanayru mining facility. And uh, if you use your dowsing mechanic, you can find that uh, the trial gate is located just over here. Uh, sort of cut out a little portion where I was just uh, grinding for some uh, tumbleweeds. But afterwards, pull out your harp and it's just like before. So go ahead and play the song. The Lanayru Silent Realm is probably a little more difficult than the Farron Woods one. I know initially when I first played through it I had uh, a little bit of trouble. I actually failed at it twice before finally succeeding during my third run. Uh, and the big reason is the Sink Sand. Uh, just like before when we were in the Lanayru Desert, there are certain areas that you can't stand on and uh, there's specific pathways that uh, you could run across. Uh, mix uh, makes it a little difficult, especially for a couple of the tiers. Um, my suggestion is to get the first one just like I did, and then make your way clockwise around this relatively circular desert area. I find that's the most efficient way to do it, and uh, it's the safest way as well. Uh, there are also dusk relics, just like in the Farron Woods Silent Realm, uh, and they're they're scattered throughout the Silent Realm, and uh, in general, these treasures are found uh, not exclusively, but almost in the various Silent Realm regions. Uh, you'll need 13 of these Dusk Relics altogether in order for you to get uh, all the necessary upgrades, if you want to get all the upgrades. So I'll be getting as many of the Dusk Relics as I can, but um, I suggest getting a couple of them yourself. Okay, over here, this is a little tricky since there is some waking water that will sort of pop up from underground and sort of like a little, creates almost like a little pond of sorts. And it'll come up and then it'll sink back down. And uh, you don't want to get caught up in the waking water, otherwise uh, this will immediately awaken the guardians and uh, it'll basically run you out of your time you have remaining. Uh, this one's a little tricky, it takes patience. Uh, you just want to pull a little minecart out so that you can then stand on top of it and then at that point you'll be able to get the tier. Uh, this next part is kind of tricky just because there's so many of these uh, of these watchers just like wandering around with their lanterns 
and uh, they cover up a lot of the area. And uh, while these ones are not patrolling ones, they do have good vision. So uh, even though like their circular lights are in a set location, if you go near some of those circles, they'll start shaking their lantern and moving towards you, and they could spot you that way. So you you just you just want to be careful. Um, just take your time. If for the most part, as long as you don't get caught, uh, time is not really much of a factor. Uh, you do get 90 seconds after each tier, just like in the Farron Woods, um, but it, it shouldn't take you 90 seconds to get from tier to tier, assuming you know where they all are. Uh, just like before, there's these light fruits all over the place, and each time you get one of them, it'll highlight uh, the location of all the remaining tiers. So I'm sort of like sneaking across, navigating my way through, trying to avoid the watchers with the lanterns. Uh, there's a tier all the way up here uh, near the top of the tree. Um, as you might expect, the only way to get this one is to roll and knock the uh, tier down. So you have to just run on over and roll into the tree trunk and this will cause the tier to drop down. One thing that they sort of do in this area is they have all of the watchers with their with their lanterns all in this like select area. Really, they're not it's they're not really found widely throughout the entire. Uh, they're not in the entire Silent Realm area, which is kind of I guess safe in a way because uh, it's just less you have to worry about. Uh, but really, it's just the the area just to the east of where the trial gate starts and then this area that I just passed with all the watchers those are the two difficult parts uh, for the most part uh, the rest of this particular silent realm uh, is not much trouble other than that uh, there's a couple tiers that are basically along the outskirts or just in the surrounding areas of the entrance to the Lene Mining Facility um, if you really like to, you could uh, like save these ones since these are pretty safe, easy ones to get to. Uh, and since they're all next to each other, it sort of wastes the whole the fact that they last 90 seconds. So uh, what you could do is try to get the more challenging ones, and if you run out of time or whatever, then you can just run back uh, to these sort of safe tiers, get these, and it'll restore your 90 seconds as well. There's a tier all the way at the top of the Lene Remining Facility as well. Uh, I don't know why I turned to the right. The path is cut off. You'll have to go to the left. But uh, climb up the vine-like things. It's not really vines. They're sort of vines. Dead vines. Silent Realm vines. Anyway, climb to the top and uh, pick up the tier of light right here. Uh, there's a couple... Uh, this particular one that is just northeast of the uh, of the Linnea mining facility. It's actually the last one I'm going to be collecting. Uh, I personally think this is the hardest one to get um, and partially because once you get it there's really not a clear safe route to go after collecting it. It's sort of just like off at the end of the ledge and uh, it sort of like leads yourself to like, you want to jump off the ledge, but then there's sink sand around you, and uh, it's kind of difficult. So I'd suggest either waiting till the very end to get this one, so it's the absolute last one, or I'd suggest uh, getting it at the very beginning, but don't, I don't think getting in the middle is very effective. The reason I say getting it at the very end is because there's a chance you might get caught after, uh, after getting it, and uh, the fact that it's so close to the trial gate entrance, you can just quickly run on over if you do get caught. So uh, you sort of have to stand in between these two watchers right here, and then uh, once they once the one turns around, then you can sort of sneak away and land by the guardian there. And I barely made that; I was really cutting it close. Uh, but that is the fifteenth tier uh, tier of Nehru, and then this will send up a beam from the t uh, trial gate entrance. And at this point, you can just jump into the sink sand, and it sort of takes all of your stamina just to make it across. But uh, that's pretty much going to do it for the silent realm portion. Uh, there's a couple of these hidden dusk relics, as I said. You'll need 13 of them in total. 
uh, between the Fern Woods and the Laneru regions. That's going to be more than you'll need throughout the entire game uh, in terms of dust relics. But you could get some more later on. Anyway, your prize for completing the trial gate is the claw shots. Yay! Sort of a throwback to the hook shot from several previous games, but it also has the double claw shot portion since there's two of them from Twilight Princess. Anyway, that's pretty much going to do it for now. We are going to have some fun with claw shots in the next video, so I will see you guys then.